Okay, uh, hello everybody. Uh, this is Tracy. I'm the community manager from One Block. And after our uh, part of Hackathon Bangkok station, uh, we warmly welcome the team that inter finals. Uh, let them to give a brief introduction of their projects. So uh, today uh, we warmly welcome Anne uh, from uh, Artmin's Oracle. And uh, could you please introduce yourself and the projects? Hi, I'm Anne. I am a smart contract developer and. Um, I actually wasn't a smart. I wasn't even a programmer like two years ago. I self-study um, programming two years ago when I quit my job as a mechanical engineer, and uh, decided to dive into Web three because it is more adapting and more accommodating to people from different backgrounds. And Artemis Oracle is a on-chain AI tarot master so you don't have to rely on going to like a real tarot master to get your fortune read and it in it also involves like um blockchain technology and introduce something new to people in web 2 space who were already familiar with tarot but they're not familiar with web 3 at all so this will bring them with like a concept that they are already familiar with while introducing something new so how it works is that you ask a question and um, it will draw a card from the from the smart contract and AI will um, decipher it for you and give you a definite, like a dedicated answer. And you can mint all this information into an NFT. You can store it, you can share it, you can trade it in the marketplace. So that's like the gist of it. Mm. Then uh, you choose the like the infra uh, track or the, the app track? I actually chose the open topic track. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, because I feel like it, it could fit in um, like track number two. I think it was like smart contract track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like, yeah, maybe it could also be in like an open topic, like more of like artist, artistry, like artistry track. Hmm. Then uh, is there any like uh, progress like after the hackathon is even it's just a week? Uh, yes, actually, we have started working on uh, different uh, gaming mechanisms. So in the beginning for the hackathon, we only have an MVP, which is the basic 22 cards major on our deck. So you choose one card from 22 cards. So now we're working on getting um, a, three, a three card draw. So you can ask more complicated questions. You can get like a present, past, future reading. Um, yeah, just to get more like different um, features to make it interesting. Hmm. Then uh, talking about features, like what features do you think that uh, uh, Artemis Oracle really attracts uh, like users? I think, um, yeah, like I said in the beginning, it's um, we want to do something that is more appealing to Web2 people like if you just throw like DeFi at them, they will be completely lost. To begin with, they don't even really know how to use Web3 wallets. So we try to like, you know, get them into the shallow waters first. So the idea behind was like to make something um, like artistic and fun and easy to use to bridge the gap between Web2 and Web3. Hmm. Then how, uh, like why uh, do you choose the uh, Pogala ecosystem? Like, is there any like scenarios that I think is really compatible with uh, with it? Um, I, mean, I think first of all, like Pogala ecosystem is huge and it has a huge TVL, meaning that there is a like, huge growth in the market right now and in the future. And also because there is this whole um, parachain um, ecosystem, where if you build on one ecosystem, like, like us, we build on Vara, which is more focused on the um, gaming um, aspects, which kind of suits our needs. But in the future, if we do want to go like multi parachain, it would be very easy because it's all built on the same um, foundation. Hmm. Then, uh, like, did you attend like any workshops or activities? Like, how do you feel about it? I think I attended like two workshops about like the introduction of Polkadot and like um, some technical workshops. Hmm. I think it's helpful to see like how um, all these parachains work together and it's based on one foundation. Hmm. 
and that really like solidify why we want to build on uh, mm. Polkadot. Yeah, I think you already uh, mentioned a little bit about like your plans in the future. Like actually, um, a lot of user, like a lot of developers, vote for your projects because we have the uh, best developers vote. So, uh, are you planning to like expand the community or attract more uh, uh, users? Do you have any strategies for that? <laughs> no. Um. Yeah, I think uh, like. Like I said, we are building on more like more features so that it could appeal to more users. Like you have, we, we're also gonna have not just tarot. We're gonna have horoscopes, like daily readings, so to appeal to like different users. And also like one of the feedback that we got from the hackathon while meeting with a lot of the developers was that they really like the UI. So we're really happy about that, and we're gonna like. Keep developing on that, building different decks with different artwork, and hopefully that will be like lean into what the users really like. Mm, yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing your progress. So uh, do you have uh, anything to say for developers that uh, are willing to uh, join our hackathons next year, probably? Yeah, I think um, it's to find your niche. Like, I mean, there's a lot of Rare generic product out there, but um, to really stand out in a big hackathon like this one, I think it's to find your niche, like find something that you're passionate about, so that not just technical wise, but when you present it, people can feel that it is something different and special and close to you. Maybe that will help you stand out. Thank you, thank you. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing you uh, for the next year. Thank you, and thank you. Thank you.